where does Homerton fit into, into all this that we've talked about and how can you get a place? Well, the timeline for your application will run through and that's as follows. You choose your course and submit your UCAS or COPA application by the 15th of October this year. As part of your application, you'll complete your self-assessment questionnaire. And I'll explain, uh, explain that in a moment. That's followed by two admissions tests, which are written exams conducted on, the, on this year, it's the 4th of November, 2020. Uh, once we have those results, we call you for interview in December and make our offer decisions in early January. After which you choose your firm and insurance choices in your application and await your exam results. And provided you've met your offer conditions, you start with us in October. Hurrah! So what does a typical offer look like? Well, normally our offers are A star, A star, A, or if you've done four subjects, A star, A star, A, A, or A star, A star, A, B. And for International Baccalaureate, we expect 40 points with 776 in uh, high level subjects. So I mentioned the self-assessment questionnaire. Uh, now that's a, that's a Cambridge specific questionnaire. And all it is, is, a, is an opportunity for you to tell us about your experiences in engineering or related areas that you feel might be relevant to your application. Don't panic if you feel like you don't have experience in engineering. What we want to see is that you have researched the subject, have a passion for it, and have put considerable thought into your decision to apply. The assessment tests are again, just a Cambridge aspect of the application. And they are two written tests, each 60 minutes long, with the first being 40 multiple choice questions on maths and physics and the second being 20 multiple choice questions on advanced maths and physics. So the first is 40, second is 20. Both tests are on the physical principles covered in your maths and physics courses. So there's nothing outside of, of, of what you've been taught. That includes mechanics uh, and all are based on, on, on that curriculum that you've studied in school. Only they're a little bit more challenging, obviously. And so to help you prepare for these, there are some sample papers available at the link I've provided here. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, these are conducted in November and your school will advise you on, uh, on how to take these. Miles, just to add quickly, so they are largely based upon GCSE equivalent level knowledge. There's also a specification online as well that tells you everything you need to know. So it tells you the parts of your course that you need to know prior to the test. Sorry for interrupting, Miles. So, okay. Yeah. Thanks for information. So, well, now you know what grades you need, how the tests feature in that. Now you need to understand what exactly uh, we're looking for at Homerton in individual candidate. Well, what I'm looking for in a candidate is, and this is, this is where the interview is, is so important, is simply put the highest level of academic ability and understanding of the basic principles and an ability to pick up new concepts well, because all those things are essential for you to excel here at Cambridge. So I want a student who will enjoy a challenging education and can show me that they have a passion for engineering. Irrespective of your nationality, social, religious, school or financial background, if you are a bright student and you can show me that you fulfill those quantities, or qualities rather, I want you at Homerton. It's your engineering potential alone that we at Homerton care about. Now, in terms of um, specific subject requirements, we do require you to take maths and physics, obviously, and we strongly prefer you take an additional technology, science, or math subject. And if your school offers further maths, you should seriously consider taking it. But again, don't panic. If your school doesn't offer further maths, you won't be disadvantaged. Uh, all you need to do is show me you have a good mathematical ability. 
and that's something you can show me in your admissions tests and your interviews and that's what we'll come to next your interviews so at homerton you take two interviews each with two different interviewers one of which i will lead and the other will be led by another of our engineering fellows such as timos who's going to talk to you later about interview questions now what we'll do in your interviews is really assess your motivation and interest in engineering what experience you might have and then we'll give you two or three technical problems to work through with our help um, to test your engineering aptitude now i'll explain in, in more detail what those problems might look like and timos will give you some examples so you're better prepared for the interviews um, should you apply to homerton so we need maths and physics, as I've said. Now, we would require chemistry if you're applying to the chemical engineering strand. And again, we prefer three science and technology subjects. Academic and vocational subjects are also acceptable, such as BTEX. And again, we prefer further maths, although one third of our students don't do further maths. So if you can't take it, you will not be disadvantaged. We do not require further maths as a firm thing for, to, to make you an offer. And lastly, we don't require you to take STEP or AEA in maths. 